Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of the game and I need to start with potentially suboptimal news. Uh, I recorded Act 2 Chapter 6 and I need to give you a verbal rundown of what happened because afterwards a blue screen happened, OBS crashed and the recording was no longer usable and I don't feel like resetting the entire act and playing everything again would also go a bit against the idea of a blind playthrough. So essentially in the last mission Gapesit and Mikala went into a laboratory and started uh, taking out grubs there. Uh, there was an illness or disease introduced called the black lung if I'm not mistaken and uh, that substantially deteriorates your health but they found a canister which not only helps to sustain the health when you have black lung but it also no it was called rust lung um, when you have rust lung but it also improves your vital functions so the whole regeneration that ukon does apparently seems to be a side effect of uh, that and they figured out he has rust lung so now you're up to date with the story apologies for uh, missing that but there is no way to get back the footage and now we're looking into essentially some upgraded uh, troops. Uh, let me run you through that because I, um, I had found a bit of loot. So we get an additional stim grenade here. We got some new boots with the sleek ability, allowing us to um, move and get 7% extra damage at the beginning of the turn. I upgraded uh, the... Uh, the support and was actually saying that I was quite happy of how it worked. The new two abilities that I wanted to give him were high powered shot which is 50% damage bonus so that's great because he's missing that and uh, first shot also reduces evasion and the next two will be 20% uh, aim bonus uh, if he misses so that's almost like the XCOM variant of the infantry class and search which is the actual ability that I'm after so I was about to say that this really turned out like a nice build. I'm super happy with how the support is performing before the PC was going down. Finally, we got a grip here with um, a better hair trigger version, 15%, the epic version, which will eventually give our scout more agency. And that's really what happened in a nutshell. Again, sorry for the loss of footage, but we're continuing with Act 2, Chapter 7 right away. Uh, the plan here is to snare Ukon uh, with a um, with a convenient trap and use a medical tra uh, truck as a decoy. We're going to take, of course, our standard team with that. And whether or not that's already the last mission of Act 2, I, I actually cannot tell. But uh, from the looks of it, it is not because it just gives an epic weapon mod if gears take no damage. So unlikely that this is the last mission. However, let's take a uh, let's take our chances and make sure Ukon is being nicely set up. With Ukon's healing trick, we can't kill him head on. We've got to trap him instead. Our target's an old UIR medical truck. Once we secure it, we'll make Ukon think he's hit the canister jackpot. All right, let's go. Intel says our vehicle's up ahead. Just gotta lock it down for the recovery crew. Okay, that's a new mission type. We haven't had that here one yet. So, choke point over here. One epic case uh, there. We gotta get to the vehicle. Another epic case over here. Lots and lots of room. More room. Oh, there's the third one. Rare case. Okay, well, this looks like Standing an interesting by. mission. Going now. Can't let these grubs to Luke on what we're up to. Take them down. You hear that? No survivors. Coming through, assholes. <laughs> Okay. I 
I have not seen you there. Okay, now. Good, well, I mean, it's obvious after he has just charged in. Get after it now! That we potentially will need a couple of reactions here. Great job, Jack. Lots and lots of grubs. Good work, Jack. Kicking up dirt. Good. They're all well hidden back there. Let's change that. Throwing a grenade. What's up? Yeah, I think we're taking the hundred percent chance here to get extra AP. Got Even if it's a bit of an overkill. Watch your language, young lady. I'm in the goddamn zone. Okay, we gotta get these other guys out of cover first. Actually, no cover here, which would be perfect, right? And this cover here looks a bit too thin. Welcome. All things considered, this is the b best cover that we could get. Can we reach the guys? The answer is yes for two of them. That'll leave us with enough to overwatch. In the meantime, this here might be a nice little kill. You and me, asshole. Chances are too low. I'm not going to use any more cooldowns. The other ones Ready. are in cover. Okay, now. Later, Jack. That's actually not a bad chance to hit him. Let's go, Diaz. I said critical hit. Good job. now overwatching overwatching and overwatching the team is strong Standing i now. like what i'm seeing here they come nice try on foot. Diaz gets that extra damage and extra mo mobility. And let's feed him some Ready. more kills. Because that has worked out relatively well. Move and sit up. The chance of hitting him is too low. I was actually just 
taking my chances. I'm on it. I was surprised that that would hit. Gotta reload. Okay, and then the 95% shot, uh, shot misses. How fitting. You hit the 23% shot and miss the 95% shot. Acknowledge. Check moves up. And we're overwatching. Next up, probe action. Nice try, asshole. Sling and lead. Keep knocking him down. Right. Target vehicles in range and intact. Get there so we can secure it. Good, it seems no more enemies are here. Go ahead. And that means we can uh, get the additional crates. Package secured. As well as prepare for whatever is going to come Waiting next. Orders. We have a few more turns left over before all of the cooldowns yeah. are back. The one thing that I've learned so far is you always want your cooldowns back. Let's get this done. Moving. Okay. Good, let's just Time to shred some wait grubs. for now. Check my man. Please don't stand in the open. Brace yourselves. Okay. Uh-huh. Are we having all of the cooldowns back? Yes. Prepare for an enemy attack. Well, I wish I would know where they are coming from. So likely not from down here, because that's where we came from. There is high ground, which looks great, but very far away from here. It could, however, be good in order to... Yeah, line of sight is blocked, so maybe not perfect. This here, this here, and this here kind of looks like entry points. Let's do it. On my way. Having him Let's stand out. a little bit back would be helpful. Where is a good position for the sniper? Maybe this. Because you could fight through here. Have cover from here and also from here, and you have the longest range. Yep. Heavy so here. just a couple of preparations. Understood. I'm listening. forgot about those hitting the road good positioning here and Let's start with the cooldown reduction work, aura. Jack. 
Keeping watch. Good. I have no idea where they are coming from. Maybe this preparation was Get ready. completely Locus stupid. Units inbound. I want to see every grub on the dirt. Maybe not. That's a lot of enemies. Walk right into it. Ready or not, scumbag. Okay, welcome back. I had a few issues with OBS and actually need to restart. Uh, so we're picking up right here. Didn't want to risk to lose another entire mission Waiting just orders. because uh, OBS is going down. So let's double check. We got three, four, five ticks here. They are clever. These little buggers are not uh, clustering up, right? I'm here. That's actually not as stupid. Uh, they are not as stupid as you would think. Let's go. So how about On the move. we're moving over here? How about we're getting a few auras going? Keep it up, Jack. One. I owe two, you one, Jack. And a bit of protection. Good assist, this Jack. This one here, we can certainly snipe, can't we? Nah, nah, that's only 80%. I don't want to take any risks. Mm. Let's just get rid of him. Going out. Target down. Okay, we do have 100% crit now. I'm here. Yeah, I think we're better off if we're just trying to snipe these guys. That's two extra AP. Down to my last round. That's a reload and extra extra AP right uh, oh, right off the bat. now good overwatch here eventually three overwatch shots here hey I got overwatch overwatch and let's do some more overwatch okay cool to look on what we're up to take them down you hear that no survivors nice well i like this although we're a bit clustered uh -huh. up do we have another grenade mine that we Waiting can plant no three more turns kill zone established okay we're establishing a kill zone I think we're okay over here. Affirmative. Reloading here. Let's reload. And cover all of the bases. Nothing's getting through here. Oh, yep. I forgot. Jack, what are we going to do with you? Double upgrade. Yep. Jack, close. Is this here working or should we put DS further forward? Proceeding on foot. It actually makes sense to put him further forward. Scanning now. Good, so what are we More dealing grubs. with? Prepare to engage. More of these tickers. Time to ruin your day. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, wait. So we got this uh, guy there. That's a boomer. 
Get after it now. And the one thing that I learned about boomers is you want to make sure that they actually die. Critical ammo. hit. Gotta reload. Target down. Nice little hit. 50-50, good enough for me. Keep it up. Gonna need some ammo. Okay, fantastic. I hate to lose anchored, but we want to cover that entire hole Setting right up there. Yeah, yeah. Tank goes into a forward position. On it. And let's jack him yes. up. That's a good one, wingman. Stay and we're hiding. And finally, on let's the put Diaz on the case. Everybody, brace for growth. They're tunneling up. For all I'm concerned, there might be two boomers coming I out of it. You. Well, we had two of those, uh, um, I forgot their name, but essentially the poison warriors. Yep. Time for a reload. Good reloading. I think it's a good time for a reload. I'm ready. Indeed. Good to go. Could have used I'm Jack here. to reload everybody. Two more turns until we can plant a new mine. I almost like to get that boomstick. Heading out. Next turn, cycle. Next turn. You're going to get the boomstick eventually. You are going to get the they boomstick get eventually. Yes. Good. We're getting ready. Stay out of trouble, Jack. And Diaz here only has... What, why does he own... Oh, he reloaded. Okay. I was wondering. Keeping watch. Oh, did I just forget Hold to close steady. the... Oh my god, Can't I forgot to close the hole. <laughs> Deviant Cantus. Leader applies status effects, can knock your units out of cover. Well, that's the worst version of the normal Cantus, it seems. We've got a Cantus! Oh boy. Well, lucky us, right? So a couple of things, just to be clear. That here was an um, unfortunate mistake. Could have closed that hole much earlier. Secondly, let's grab that boomstick. Get into cover. Oh, we could almost hit them. I read you. You got it. <laughs> Not 
Nice work, Jack. Moving up. And we're going to stay invincible right. again. Stay out of trouble, Jack. Okay, if we hit, we would gain back all of our actions. 40% potentially not good enough for an ultimate shot. Heavy on standby. Heavy has just one action, so we're very likely going to overwatch. Yep. Way. Diaz begins to move in. We're covered here. Yep. Overwatching. You got only one shot, but that is okay. Okay. And On these it. here are two shots On from coordinated by. assault. Don't want to stand in the middle there. Going but we're now. eventually moving over here. Of course we can't overwatch anyways. Are on the move. Time to ruin your day. Good, they had been nicely interrupted and even killed. Didn't even stand a chance. Another interruption. That one turned out to be a valuable um, planted mine. The one thing that I learned in all of those defense scenarios is make sure that you have your mines planted in advance. Okay, well, that's a problem. This here is a problem as well. But one which we potentially can could solve. To stretch my leg. Moving up. And here we go, that's a kill. And a nice little shell shock. Can we kill this guy? So close. Doesn't look like we can actually fully kill him. Unless, of course. Unless, of course, we're going to inspire. Thanks for the assist, Jack. Everybody else gets an ability point, an action nice. point, rather. Later, Jack. There we go, and that's worth the second shot, definitely. Not bad. Taking this guy out was well worth it. There's a 40% chance that this will kill him and we can reload. Well, turns out to be not the case. Gain some extra AP. There we go. Heavy here. Moving. Good. We're covering this side On without a problem. Okay. And 
Yes, can Rob's dusted. start to cover the central side here. Yep, we're covered. What? Good. If the tick w walks into here, it's going to die. And if it walks around there, it's hopefully going to die as well. Reinforcements are drying up. Reloading. Cover Good, we're reloading. Jack would actually do a full fledged reload for everyone. Except the heavy. Go ahead. One. <laughs> Good, we're getting the sniper aura again. I owe you one, Jack. Yep. On it. And this is going to be three Copy. overwatches. Good. If they say reinforcements are drying up, that means the, this guy this here is the last one in town. Here come the grub. Solid job. This truck's just what we need to pull it up. Now let's move out and let the recovery crew get to work. Well, that ended faster than I would have expected, but this intact. new Get enemy, so the last it. one, uh, the Improved Kratos, or whatever it was called, that's a pretty harsh enemy, specifically since he can destroy cover. We were lucky that we were so far uh, behind uh, in, uh, our own defensive lines that it really hadn't bothered us too much, but oh my god, so that was harsh. Cool, we got a promotion, and that's pretty much it. We got a promotion. Got some more reskill opportunities, but more importantly, loot. I love loot. Focus, Swift. Swift is the hair trigger, if I'm not mistaken, and Glory, whatever Glory is. Let's check out the gear. Glory boots. When this unit executes an enemy, 60% chance of a reduced skill cooldown by two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of comes back to the question of who's executing all of those enemies. Flat 10% damage reduction seems better on a tank, and he's executing a lot of the enemies. As for Diaz. That damage is also better, which kind of gets us back to our scout, and I think she had utility belt. Yep. And then we only have the tank with his passive. Well, that's 15% extra damage, so as cool as the, uh, the concept is I don't see a single unit uh, of ours would uh, see that as an upgrade this year on the other hand 15% to get an extra action definitely is an upgrade finally we got his weapon upgraded very nice And currently we got damage plus ammo and focus start of the turn 30% 40% crit chance. Oh yeah, uh, we're going to do that uh, because the crit uh, from the shotgun is actually quite good and we need it in order to 
um, to kill the enemies with one shot. So that is fantastic. Do we have anything else? I believe we have covered all of the equipment, yes. So back to our sniper. The skill tree works and now we need a passive uh, bony, uh, right? Unit targets an enemy for the first time, 40% evasion. First time unit moves in a turn, plus 50% damage for the turn. First time the unit moves in a turn, gains 50% damage for that turn. So essentially what you want to do is move a little bit and then, then gain a lot of damage boost. And 20% accuracy bonus from high grounds. Oh yeah, we're going to take that. This isn't bad either because it will allow us to faster gain those um, those skill recoveries. I still like Epiphany. This here is great as well. 10% critical chance is good because we're crit fishers. When this unit uses a reload on an empty magazine, 25% damage for two turns or until reloading again. I think that's not bad either. Another passive skill. I'm not sure if we're even getting all the way until Epiphany. It, it's good, but this here is also a uh, cooldown reducer. It's not as... well. I wouldn't say it's not as good. It, it has a different focus, right? So if you need to move, this one here is better because it reduces all of your skills. If you continuously shoot over a long, long period, Epiphany is potentially better. But I would say they might end up to be somewhat equal. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. But those two seem similar. Critical Overwatch, yeah. We're not overwatching that much. I think we're going to go for for the setup here and then next turn active reload. That is nice for for maybe for survival. The other option is to skip uh, critical reload and go for that alpha strike, fifteen percent damage for, for for a full uh, for the first shot. I can see that this, this, and this together with Omega. This here is essentially on average a 10% uh, damage bonus, right? Two shots, uh, three shots. First one 15, second one 0, third one uh, 25%, 40, 40 divided by 3, kind of 13.3% on average DPS increase. This one here is. A 25% damage increase whenever you actually reload and have an empty magazine. So I think this is almost better than those two and costs just one skill. We don't have any alternative to weak spot. I don't want to do a precision shot because it also is another skill. So I think we're ending up with setup and then going down and taking those two. And if we really then have actions left over. This one is not bad. I could see this to be a, a bit of a crowd controller. But yeah, if we take those two and eventually get onto that weak spot passive skill, I think we're doing uh, we're having a solid build. This build so far worked out well. I can't really complain about it. Lots of ability, uh, lots of action points when you need it. And with that uh, crit chance, a really solid bonus. Of course, having that extra 10% crit chance and then the crit aura on top of it, you can reach 100% crit chance. And then what you need to do is stacking crit damage. Then all of a sudden this becomes even more deadly. So. Maybe that is um, another thought process. 
basically we could do that next turn right we could take those two and go for the weak spot set up here and uh, the run and gun was too good to not take it i think that's even stronger than the uh, weak spot but we can take those two and go for weak spot for extra critical chance and then with the sniper aura on top you should be nearly at 100 percent crit Okay, cool. That's the end of today's videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoy the comment, uh, the content, don't forget to leave a comment down below and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.